how's it going guys? Um, it's been about a week since we put the, the bait out. Uh, we haven't got anything on our camera. Uh, getting a little frustrated because we know that, that the bear's here. We know that there's uh, berry patches out here that he's been been eating. Been finding much bear scat um, and some, some tracks. But we just gotta convince him to come see our, our food. Um, we're right here right now, gonna refresh the bait site, put, put some more treats out there. Stay tuned. Here's some animal sign. Not of what we're looking for, but that's a one big coyote poop. <laughs> some donut glaze. Bought about 50 pound, pounds of it. This stuff smells amazing. Gonna ooze right down through all that stuff. Hopefully this is the uh, the ticket to get this bear. All right, so once again we just uh, put down some free treats. Um, if the raccoons and squirrels bring them out in the woods, spread the scent out. That's uh, work done for our benefit. We just emptied the freezer. We found some old uh, some berries that we had. Uh, we actually found some some catfish that uh, might <laughs> might bring in a bear. Uh, we replenished the uh, the popcorn and added more uh, donut glaze. We also put out some more sponges with the anise oil. Got one there. Got one way out there, the pink blob. So we did notice on the way in that there was a top of a tree that fell over um, blocking the trail. Um, and when I came here th this morning, that, that tree was definitely in the way. When we came back um, uh, this evening, it was moved probably 10, 12, 12 feet out of, out of the way. And I know there's, there's nobody out here. There's nobody out here but us. Um, something big had to go through through there and moved it. And when we got closer to the bait site, uh, there was some mossy areas and some some like rotten logs that I've used to to um, make part of the funnel area that was all broken and, and tossed around that um, was definitely not like that when I left this morning. So maybe we're getting closer. Stay tuned.